Hey guys, in this video, you'll learn how to create a MetaQuest account. The account created today was done on an iPhone, but you can just as easily follow along if you're on an Android. So let's first get started by going into the App Store and downloading the MetaQuest app. Once you're in the app, you'll have three options to choose from. You can continue with Facebook, continue with Instagram, or set up account with email. If you want your Meta account linked with Facebook or Instagram, you can sign in with one of these two options. If you want to create a MetaQuest account that's not linked to Facebook or Instagram, click on Set Up Account with Email. Next, you'll be asked if you have any VR apps on any prior Facebook or Oculus Quest accounts. And if so, would you like to move those apps to a new Meta account? If you do and you would like to migrate your apps to a new Meta account, click on I have VR apps and follow those steps to complete the process. But today's tutorial is for a new account with no prior VR apps, so I'm going to click on I don't have any VR apps. Next, enter an email that you want associated with the account and hit continue. Then tap on create new account. Again, it will ask if you have any prior Facebook or Oculus accounts with VR apps. For this tutorial, I'm going to select no. Next, enter your first name, last name, birthday, and create a password. Review your credentials and click on Create Account. Next, enter a six-digit confirmation code that was sent to your email and hit Continue. Now you can create your Meta Horizon profile. Click on Next. Choose a profile name you want people to see and a cool username. Here you can add a profile picture, but I'm going to skip this and save this for a later time. Next, tap on Continue. And on the following screen, create a four-digit MetaQuest pin. Now you can add a payment method for your purchases on the MetaQuest store, or you can skip this for a later time. Once you're done with that, select a headset that you want to pair. Then you're all finished. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.